What's your legacy after three years as IFJ president? The time goes by very quickly. But uh, I would say, if I have to take about my, my balance, I, I, what comforts me the most is the reconciliation we could achieve in Afri Africa. That was a very important point in my presidency. And also the fight against the impunity of journalist murderers that we started and which has to be prolonged. At least we made the IFJ voice heard in the United States level, and it's very important, but it's not enough. Indeed, and we, n we now have to convince states to, to vote the resolution we presented to them. This year's Congress theme is the future of journalism in the digital era. What advice would you give to young journalists entering the profession? The first thing I would say to young journalists is that digital era is their future and they shouldn't fear the digital media. Now, the second point is that they have to stick to their ethical duties because on the, on the web, only the, the reliable information will make the difference and convince people it's worth paying for information. The challenge is now when people pay for information, the journalists are paid for their work. You're not running again for president. Any advice for your successor? An advice is a, uh, is a too hard word because I, I think my successor will have to find his or her own style. But nevertheless, I think two things are very important is to keep on the fight against impunity of, of journalists, murderers, and the challenge, the very important challenge is to, to restore the financial stability of IFJ because uh, it was a very difficult fight we had and uh, I must thank all the, the IFJ staff for its dedication because they are put under pressure and I think they need and they deserve a stability for the IFJ.